What's up everyone, Dr. D here and in this video I'm bringing you a brand new top 10. That's right, it's been a hot minute but we're back with a new top 10 of the hardest songs to memorize in DDR. Memorization. We've all been there. Whether it was that one time you studied hard for your exams but ended up failing anyways, or that one time that really cute chick gave you her number after you passed Max 300 and you repeated it again and again over and over in your head yet you still couldn't get it right. Thankfully, for DDR players, most songs don't require that much memorization. At worst, you might have to memorize a stop or two, maybe some BPM gimmicks which you'll get down after a few attempts. But then, there are the songs. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. The songs that to master would need ungodly amounts of studying and cramming that would make even an Asian student during midterm week blush. Whether it's memorizing all the stops, stutters, BPM gimmicks, or footing, these songs have it. With that said, I'm proud to present to you the top 10 hardest songs to memorize in DDR. Number 10. Filling in our number 10 spot is over the period. Now, I know what you're saying. How is this only number 10? I mean, for Christ's sakes, I couldn't even clear the basic chart when it first appeared on Encore stage after the RDI event. Shoutouts to Silverhawk for being the first to clear it, by the way, followed by Echoes shortly after. To be fair, the chart was unknown at the time, and it was PFC or die. It took players like me, Jupiter, Echospheric, Silverhawk, and more to slowly build off the knowledge each new gimmick revealed until one of us was able to put it all together and clear it. Alright, so with all the gimmicks now known, is it really that bad? Well, yes and no. On one hand, it is extremely challenging to play it since it has both insanely slow and fast sections. 1.5x seems adequate to read the whole chart. So what about the actual gimmicks that require some memorizations? Well, that's the thing. Overall, they aren't too bad. Most are just doubling or having of the base BPM, while others can be mastered with a few simple counting techniques. For those reasons, that makes over the period just barely make the cutoff. Number 9 Number 9 is Cytokinesis. Hopefully this chart will show you why Over the Period isn't too bad to memorize. The song is named after the process in which cytoplasm of a eukaryotic cell is divided to form two daughter cells. What does that have to do with DDR? Is anyone's guess. But it wouldn't be the first nor last time DDR songs got questionable titles. So, what does this song have going for it? Well, good news for those who hate counting stops, there are none! But what it lacks in stops, it more than makes up for with subtle and not so subtle BPM shifts. Unlike OTP, that mostly goes from doubling or having the base BPM, Cytokinesis features many progressive speedups. Knowing where they all occur is where the memorization comes in. You must either study the chart on video or play through it a dozen or so times before muscle memory kicks in. And even when you master it, you will ask yourself, Is this even music? Number 8 Number 8 is Jomanda. In keeping with DJ Yoshitaka's plant motif, Jomanda is a cultivar of Dalila, a genius of plants. I'll keep this one short since Jomanda is basically a beefed up version of Cytokinesis. Now, don't get me wrong, I can see an argument that Cytokinesis is harder than Jomanda. I pondered this a lot as well, but in the end I chose Jomanda over Cytokinesis since it features tough to time stops, a higher BPM range which makes memorizing at least some parts almost mandatory and it suffers from some major blue note syndrome in the second half. All in all, Jamanda demands your attention and expects you to study its gimmicks to hold your own at a tournament. Number 7 
Being the newest song featured on our list is New Era. New Era was one of the Golden Leaguer's privilege rewards by having achieved gold class in DDR A20's Golden League's second period. It was named after the current Rewa era of Japan, which started on May 1st, 2019, and since August 19th, 2020, it is available for all players by default, regardless of cabinet model. With its challenge chart featuring 674 intimidating steps littered with tons of stops, slowdowns, and speedups, it's quite the tall order in terms of memorizing. Though Soda's first two new songs, New Decade and New Century, did have some gimmicks, neither could hold a candle to this one. Have fun studying, kids! Number 6 Hear that? Aw oh, yeah! Shit is about to get real, because number 6 is none other than Pursuer. At least if you're going to commit to sitting down and memorizing a chart, you got a killer track to listen to by Ryo Shibasawa, which is his first entry into the DDR series. The BPM range is 75 to 300, with both extremities being sustained. This isn't like Neutrino where there is a short 300 BPM section with easy patterns to get down. No, no, no. Likely, you'll be trying to use the highest speed bot you can read in the earlier sections while barely being able to manage the last 300 section. If you wish to truly master this song, it will require memorization of the final 12% of the song at 300 BPM, which features Saberwing Akiri Headshot-esque crossovers. Keep practicing! Number 5 Number 5 are the Osaka Evolve series. Yep, the whole lot. Type 1, 2, and 3. Believe it or not, when Osaka first appeared in DDR Hottest Party 2, you couldn't select which type. Instead of picking it, it would give you a random one. Thanks, Konami. Like Pursuer, the BPM range in all three versions are insane and will require some memorization of the fast sections if you wish to use higher speed mods. At first glance, you think with all three being chocked full of gimmicks, it'd be ranked higher. However, there is one saving grace. The good news is, if you learn specific sections in each type, though appearing at different points, they can be applied to the other types. Osaka Evolved has definitely earned its spot in the top 5. Number 4 Number 4 is a personal favorite of mine, Orca. Orca is Masaya Oya's first original composition in DDR. And wow, have you seen the stops? Alright, first things first. I want to admit, on my last top 10, I probably ranked Orca a little too high on the list of hardest 14s to PFC. Whoops. However, I do believe it has rightfully earned its spot at number 4 in terms of difficult songs to memorize, especially the expert charts. And though we are mostly covering singles, the double chart for this was first rated a nasty 18. Yikes. It did re-rate recently down to a 17, but a hard 17 at that. It takes a while to really discover all the song has going for it, but learning all the stops and the 310 BPM speedup section is a must to full combo and score well on it. If you've mastered either expert chart, let me know in the comments. You have my respect. Number 3 Number 3 was inevitable. It's Ace for Aces. Though it doesn't have multiple types like Osaka, it does feature different gimmicks depending on which chart you play. In fact, Ace for Aces was the first song ever in DDR to have different stops and speed changes for different difficulties. Only later did Chaos Terratech follow in its footsteps. Ace for Aces was the third song that required a perfect full combo 
in order to pass it when it first appeared on Encore stage. And that's just pure evil. If you haven't realized yet, there are tons of stops and speed changes throughout the song, especially on the Expert and Challenge difficulties. So when the song was brand new, collectively, players had to inch their way through to reveal the song, tedious indeed. If you plan on mastering this, be sure to study it and play it a bunch of times to build muscle memory. Number 2 Number 2 is the Chaos Family. All two of them. Let's take a moment to pause and recognize that the original Chaos is what started it all. Yeah, sure, there were some wonky stops and speed changes before Chaos, but nothing prepared us for this. Though not featuring any speed changes, a record 44 stops to memorize was nothing to scoff at. Fun fact, as the story goes, Naoki wrote Chaos in a MacBook Pro while staying at an airport hotel in Los Angeles to meet the deadline for Supernova. Chaos Challenge is rated a 16 with the fewest steps at only 405, so you know most of the difficulty comes from the memorization. Little did we know that just over 12 years later, Chaos's big brother Terratechnics would show up making the first one look trivial. Once again setting a record with 70 stops, Terratech was the real deal. Like Ace for Aces, depending on which difficulty you choose, your stop variety will vary. But of course, the challenge chart has the most. It doesn't help the chart features complicated rhythms and footing to pull off. Without a doubt, the Chaos Family, especially the Big Brother, are two of the hardest songs to memorize in DDR. Number 1 Number 1, of course, are the Pluto family of songs. I say of course, but honestly, it was a tough call for me to choose between this and Chaos, but ultimately, I felt sure that yes, Pluto deserves the number one spot. And right off the bat, though Relinquish does feature some annoying speed ups and speed changes, the reason Pluto is landing in the number one spot is because of the original Pluto and Pluto the First. Let's begin with Pluto. First appearing in the form of its expert chart on extra stage, like Chaos, it proved to be difficult to full combo, let alone pass. It features plenty of stops, some of which are long. BPMs between 50 and 220 and odd rhythms. Plenty thought this couldn't get harder till the challenge chart was revealed. And although it has the same stops and speed changes, the complexity of the steps and odd places to have those steps made it feel like a totally different song needing to relearn everything. This alone would be enough to compete for the top spot against Chaos, and we haven't even touched Pluto the First. Oh boy, where to start? I still remember first seeing it released on Dance Dance Revolution Hottest Party and praying it would never come to the arcade version. Alas, no prayers in the world would stop Pluto the First from entering the arcade edition on DDRX2 in 2011. It's not hard to see why I prayed so hard, because in order to master this song, it requires a ton, and I mean a ton, of muscle memory and, you guessed it, memorization. Like Pluto, its low BPM goes down to 50, Though unlike Pluto, its high jumps up to 440 BPM, severely limiting your speed options. Still to this day, I still don't quite understand the strange melody of this song, nor do I know why steps are placed the way they are. The stops are just rude, and once you finally get down the expert version of the song, have fun unlearning it while you attempt the challenge chart that has tons of shock arrows making your method of performing the expert chart null. Anyone who has mastered all of the Plutos has earned my admiration. Alright, there you have it, a list of the top 10 hardest songs to memorize. 
Let me know in the comments if you agree with my rankings and which songs you have already got down and which ones you are aiming for next. Sorry it takes me so long to produce these top 10s, I do hope to make more in the future. Quick shout out to my community on Discord who helped me put this one together, and especially to Len for Life for helping me edit this thing together. Let me know which top 10 you'd like to see next or if I should revisit an older one. Thanks for watching and peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. If you like what I do and want to be notified whenever I upload or go live, subscribe and hit that bell icon. If you really love me, consider pledging on Patreon to enjoy exclusive benefits. Lastly, keep the DDR discussion going by joining my Discord community linked below. Thanks again, and peace.